For question five, we're going to try to figure out the topographic expression of our limestone bed using the given data. We know that everything is striking north-south and it's dipping off to the west at 27 degrees. We know our high point is at 1200 degrees or 1200 meters and our low point, the bottom of the bed, is at 900 meters. So the thing that I found easiest to do is we're going to do a topographic profile of this guy first. Um, so to do this, right, we want to take and find a cross-section line to take our topographic profile related to this. So I'm going to pick one roughly that goes between the two. Um, pick this guy. Take my piece of paper and everywhere it crosses I'm going to draw a line. And mark it out. So we have 800, 900, 10, 11, 12, 12, 11, 10, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7. And we want to make a mark that this is our spot 1 and about here at 900 is our spot 2. Alright, so then we take our plot here make our topographic profile. So this is using the scale from the map that we have up here. So we've got 800 meters, 900, 1100, 1200, 900, 900, 1000, 1000, 900, 800, and then about 700. Okay, so then we connect the dots roughly, and there is our topographic profile, and we know that station 1 is about there, and station 2. Uh, it's on the 900, so it's about there. Now we want to figure out what the topographic expression is. So we know that it's dipping at 27 degrees. So if we take this and we measure it out to about 27 degrees, mark here, draw this. You'll notice that along the cross section line I've chosen, we're not going to have any outcroppings right in front of it. Same thing with here. If we go to about 27 degrees, make a mark. Oops. Helps if I draw it along the line. Is there. So this is the area that we're going to be carry, coloring in on our map. Um, notice it's between our high point and our low point. But this is only along this cross-section line. So now we need to figure out how to fill in the blanks in between. So remember we have a north-south strike. I'm going to draw a light line here. And a light line here. And we know that everything is dipping 27 degrees. And so between here and here, everything in the middle is colored in. Right? We know that from topographic profile we put together, everything between this point and this point is pretty much colored in. Now what we need to figure out is where it's going to be colored in at. So we take our triangle and we do some trig. Okay. So for our 900 line, if we look along here, um, right, we've got some 700 lines to work with, 800 and 600. So we need to figure out the x distance that we're going to be filling into um, for these different parts. So we have 900 to 800, we're figuring out x, and we know it's 27 degrees. So we've got x is equal to the difference, which is 100, our opposite over tangent of 27. We'll put that in our calculators. 
and 27, and that gives us about 200 meters. So if we measure our distance using our scale, which is about two and a half millimeters, anywhere within the 800 contour line, go about two and a half millimeters. We're gonna draw a line. So that's our 800 line, and it doesn't quite reach it there. So this is the boundary. We're not gonna cross this boundary um, in terms of filling in our line because according to our um, trigonometry laws, we're not gonna go over 200 meters. Now it doesn't matter, I drew the triangle backwards in terms of this, but it's the same, it's the same idea. So we're gonna do the next, next one, 900 to 700. We've got our 27 degree dip. So X is 200 over tan of 27. And 27, and we get about 400 meters. Again, using our scale, 400 meters is about a half a centimeter. Anywhere where we're falling under our 700, right, this is going to be our mark. We're not going to go any further than that. Um, and then we do the same for our 600. Okay, so we've got 900, 600, 27, uh, 27. So we've got 300 divided by tan, 27. And that gives us roughly, right, I'm rounding here, gives us about 600. So again, using our scale, we've got 200, 400, 600 right about there, within our 600 contour interval, right, we're going to stay roughly about there. So everywhere in between is going to be filled in except for about right here, and that's about two millimeters. Okay, so that's one end of our topographic expression. Now we have to do the same thing with um, the top of our bed, right? We know it's dipping 27 degrees. We know here it's not going to hit along this line. We know that from our cross section, which we did over here, right? This line just might barely touch right at the bottom, but other than that, it's not going to outcrop. So we take our new piece of paper, do the same thing. Focus. Whoop. Sorry, guys. Getting a little excited here. Wait for it to focus again. Okay. So now we've got the same deal. We're going 1200 to 1100. Sorry, 1100. 27 degrees. X is 100 divided by 27 which we already know is about 200. So since we already know this previ from previous stuff, this will be a little bit easier. So anywhere that this line is gonna cross our 1100, anywhere in between here, right, we're gonna put our about two millimeters. It's there and about there. Uh, and then just like here, Right, this was our 200, I don't know why I'm doing Z's, 200, so that's about our 400 meters between 1200 and 1000. So here is our 1000 line, we're going to go about half from here, 1000 and about here. Right, going back to this, 900. We're going between the difference between 1200 and 900 is 300, so that's going to give us our 600, which is about here, about here, and 900, about here, and here. 
and then adding another one, right, we're doing 1,200 to 800. So that is 400 divided by 10 of 27. That's roughly 800. You guys can hopefully start to see a pattern. So now we're going to 800, which is about one and a half, not quite one and a half, one and 1.25 centimeters. That's in here. Um, and then we also want to do it on both sides of the dike. So we want to see what it's going to be like for our 500. So what our 1200 minus 500 is, or 27. So the difference between 1200 and 500 is 700 divided by tan of 27. And that gives us roughly 1400 meters. That we'll measure out. So there's 1,400 meters is about two centimeters. So we go from this line out. That just barely nicks right over here. So we connect this line, we connect these lines. Everything in between here gets colored in. And that is your outcrop for question five. Now the next part, question six, at what point uh, does the limestone hit under P? Again, we have some very valuable information. We have the starting elevation of our point. So we've got 1,200. We're trying to figure out the depth here, but we know the distance. And we know it's 27 degrees. And the distance we'll measure from, we're going to follow the strike line, right? And we want to follow it so we can have our right angle. The distance from P to our strike line is about 7 centimeters. So if we have 3. 4,000, 4,200, 400, 600, 4,750. 50 meters is our distance. We're going to try to find x. So tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. We know this. We know this trying to find opposite, so it's adjacent times tan of theta. So that is 4,750 times tangent of 27. And that equals 2,420. So that is x. Now we have 2,420 is equal to 1,200 minus x minus the distance. So x equals, if we add x to both sides, right, we cancel out x. So x plus plus x, those go away. And then we take 1200 minus 2420. So the distance underneath is 1220 meters below the surface that we're talking about. Um, so that is how you do questions five and six um, for your homework.